Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Just a quick update. We want to move resistance together because um, price did make another tiny low today. We highlighted in the previous update that we still focus on lower and it seems like that it, instead of doing a fifth wave, so we talked about this before, yeah, wave three here, wave four here, that we can focus on lower in a fifth wave as long as price stays below 26,620. A break above that level would me would make me consider different options, but on the microstructure here, another low is still expected in a fifth wave. But it seems to me, um, due to the proportions, yeah, the proportions that wave three is extending. I mean, let's look at the Fibonacci extensions. Yeah, just looking at what is the length of this third wave, you can see it did reach the minimum expectations for a third wave, which is the 1.618 extension. But if we just draw this very accurately. It missed it very, very slightly. And these are the details I'm watching for. So it missed it very, very slightly. That would have been 25,630. Well, it came to 25,660. Uh, so it missed it a little bit. And that's always only the minimum expectation. So if the 1.618 extension isn't even reached in the third wave, it's always a first small warning. And then the fourth wave was a very shallow. Said to you in the previous video, I would expect back not expect I would prefer to see a deeper wave four, just a more reliable wave four, but it was also very shallow. All of that leads me to the assumption that the third wave is actually extending. Yeah, the third wave is actually extending. That means we are probably dealing with a wave four weekend and it means that we have to uh, move resistance, which means that we need to move resistance along to make sure that we understand when it's broken so that we can track other scenarios on the structure, on the microstructure. But at the moment, um, in a third wave, it often makes sense just to move resistance with the price, keep it moving. Basically, in this case, um, yeah, resistance for continuation to the downside. If broken to the upside, now I would consider that a higher B wave is in place. A higher B wave at the moment, we assume that wave B topped here on the 29th of August, yeah but it can of course extend to an even larger three wave pattern. So we already have three waves in the B wave, but this three wave move could just become part of a larger three wave move. A wave, B wave, C wave, valid as long as we only have three waves down. If we get five waves down, I have to rule that out. We would, we would also now with another low, make a new price extreme below the 17th of August low. That's eventually what we want, but I need that. Um, additional low to consider five waves down complete. And at the moment, it seems like the third wave is extending and resistance is now 26,450. So the way to measure that is to draw the length of the third wave. Again, this could still extend down further. Uh, what I would like to see over the weekend, um, a bit speculative, but what I'd like to see over the weekend is that wave four gets a bit more pronounced maybe to reach 26,180 all the way up to 26,450 only above that level we consider that the b wave is extending and then as long as it doesn't extend one more low should happen maybe early next week in a fifth wave that works out much better in terms of proportions and has a realistic chance now to reach the 24k level in this five wave move after the next low we are going to watch if um the recovery is a three wave move or if we see five waves if we see five then again same old story yeah we can consider that a low has been made and we're waiting for an abc pullback this could be another pullback zone as the yellow zone has been already on the larger time frame and then to trade the third wave higher um, if it's only a corrective rally and it stops basically here then we have a good short setup for lower okay but i will take you um I will be with you on that uh, pathway. We try to establish the most likely pathways after every turn. Yeah, so I think we might see a bit of a boring weekend again. Um, when it's weekend, it's typically way four time. It's quite funny, but it, it actually is. So Bitcoin did a good job today to complete, possibly complete that third wave, ready for a fourth wave weekend. Now, not promised, um, but it's, it's just typically the case. So again, it's all likelihoods, probabilities. Um, not much more to add. All the other comments from previous videos still stand. Tomorrow I'll do a larger, uh, another bigger picture one. Interestingly, on Sunday, actually I'm looking forward to that. Sunday is our member live stream. If you're interested in talking a little bit about structures, um, Bitcoin structures, 
before halvings historically yeah in previous bear markets how bitcoin escaped from the bear market that's what we're going to do on sunday in our member live stream at 5 p.m utc if you want to join you can still do that um, check out the channel membership there's also a lot of additional stuff in the membership um, for gold members daily updates and signals for certain coins even in addition to the videos so in between videos and um there's lots of ed educational content about Elliott Waves, live stream tutorials, all sorts of stuff. So check it out. And uh, yeah, if not, then have, have a great weekend. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.